We do have some interesting potential rule proposal changes that could be taking place in the NFL this upcoming season. Most notably, something that might pique the interest of uh, one LeVar Arrington and Brady Quinn here. Uh, Intentional grounding. Well, apparently the competition committee is expected to propose an adjustment to the intentional grounding rule as a way to increase scoring and protect quarterbacks in the league. So the proposal would be that even if the quarterback is in the pocket, they would only need to get the ball back to the line of scrimmage. So That's to increase scoring? Yeah, because they felt like... Or to lessen the opportunity of the quarterback to get hit. They went back and did research on all intentional grounding plays that were called this past year, and apparently only two of those drives resulted in a touchdown. So they felt like that it was the punitive effect of the intentional grounding that was called was part of the reason why scoring was down. But isn't the punitive effect of intentional grounding not to intentionally ground it? (laughs) I mean... Listen, man. Okay, so, so, okay. So this is how I used to be in the meetings when they come in and tell us the new rules, right? So you're telling me that you're adjusting and adapting the rule so that it's not as punitive to the offense to be able to navigate downfield and score on us, the defense. That's So all you got to do is basically, wherever you're at, make the ball back to the line of scrimmage. There doesn't need to be a, a receiver nearby? No. Yeah, that's just that's – just, okay, so it's just – I mean, just accept the fact that it's just more and more egregious that this is this is how it goes. It's an offensive driven driven industry. Hey man, scoring was like down. accept it. All right, it's fine. <laughs> the I, I, I wonder if instead of altering the rule, they altered the penalty because as of right now, it's what loss of uh, it's a loss of down and ten yards from the previous spot. Yeah. So I I, I would wonder if they they take away the loss of down. Replay the down and do it to give a ten yard penalty. Replay the down, yeah, well, like you'd get the down back, but you, you lose ten yards. So like a holding call. Do you correct? Uh, do you think they care? And look, this could be one and the same. I'm just curious if they looked at it from that perspective. I mean, I, I would say that make more sense. Yeah, do you say because they they also imply that you know this is you know to help far. increase. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, that's yeah. I don't want to agree with you at all right now. It's Why like not? it's it's us versus Why? you right now because your offense. Oh. And this pisses me off. Yeah, but he's got the mentality of a defender. You know what's going to happen now? These dudes is going to look at Micah Parsons, and they're going to look at these pass rushers. They're going to look at Miles Garrett like, ah, <laughs> and just and they're, lob it to the to the, the line of scrimmage. Here's here's the one thing I'll say: is the one that sticks out the most was the Josh Allen intentional grounding call, where he wasn't even pressured in the pocket there's the miscommunication remember last season yeah, when that, oh yeah god mm-hmm. what game was that it was late in the season yeah and that was probably the one that i go ooh, how do you make that call you knew exactly what happened and it wasn't like when you're in the pocket the quarterback has to be under duress that's part of the penalty and i don't, I don't even know if you can make the case he was under duress but clearly there was a miscommunication where josh allen thought the receiver was going to convert the route into a go and the receiver stopped, and so there was no receiver anywhere around. I, I wonder if there's a portion of the of, of that particular play, but others where there's a miscommunication between the quarterback and the wide receiver, and then it starts to look like intentional grounding from that standpoint. Because oftentimes in you know a route tree, these wide receivers are going to have routes that adjust based on coverage, mm-hmm. and. It just, I don't know, I mean, it, it looks bad, but and it looks like, oh, well, that could be intentional grounding, even though everyone's like, okay, we understand kind of the intent of what, what took place or what happened there. Uh, the Josh Allen play was against the Bengals, and I, I believe it was uh, Sunday night, if I'm not mistaken. God, that I understand that. Call. I understand that one. I understand that scenario the way you just explained it. I don't think anybody would have an issue, take issue with the interpretation of that saying that's not an intentional grounding. That was a miss. A misread. That's just a missed call. I mean, it, yeah. yeah. But to me, to say that a guy can now just throw the ball and the ball just has to make it back to the line of scrimmage, like that's just – it, you take sacks down. You take the opportunities down for the defense. 
I mean, that's just that's, that's just a difficult one to kind of. It's like there's so many rules in play now. Like you used to get like one and a half steps to to hit a quarterback. Now it's like zero steps. It's like a half a step you get to to hit the quarterback once he's throwing the ball. You can't hit him if he looks like he's about to give himself up. He may give himself up. He may not give himself up. He may go out of bounds. He may not go out of bounds. You got to hit him in the hit zone. You can't hit him too low. You can't hit him too high. If you touch, if you graze his face mask, he's going to get you're going to get a, a roughing the, the the passer call. If you hit him too hard, you're going to get a roughing the passer call. I just I just feel as though at some point just put a halo around wow. the quarterback. Wow! Blow the pl- blow the call. Wow. Blow the play. Call, play pl- blow the okay. blow the play dead. Wow! When you get to a certain, you should be able to penetrate back back. a certain point, and they blow the the, the play dead back, as a defender. Back back. Yeah. All Thank right. Let, let me yeah. ask you this: Do you guys believe because yeah, they're wrong. they're they're giving two different reasons as to so. this? Do you believe that it's more about? scoring or more about quarterback safety because one of the other side parts of this is how many backup quarterbacks played last year and their rationale was yeah we're always concerned about player safety and most of these quarterback injuries from their research happens while the quarterback's in the pocket i'll be honest i don't think this rule needs changed at all i think this is bailing out the quarterbacks for not you know knowing where guys are knowing how when when and how they should get rid of the football I just I don't think it needs changed. I think if this is a change they make. They're doing it because they're continually trying to give offense advantages over the defense. Like one of the stats I was looking at was okay. Let's look at the last I don't know ten years of of sack you know leading sack you know play edge rushers, and it's remained pretty consistent. You know, throughout the years. Now it's it's come down a little bit at times. Like this year, T.J. Watt led with nineteen sacks and. Both the year before, 18 and a half. T.J. Watt, the year before that, was 22 and a half, right? That was that huge year he had. But it's it's kind of consistent. It's it's basically somewhere north of 15 and as high as 22 and a half. And that's since the start of the millennium, even with the extra game. And I, I wonder if they're looking sometimes at, like, sack production, pressure production, not even so much as a way of, you know, when talking about the quarterbacks and decisions they're making, but the offensive line. And how bad offensive line play has gotten. I mean, one thing is for sure we can all agree. There was holding on both sides in the in the Super Bowl, and they really weren't calling it. I mean, I mean, whoo! Like so, there was one, some of the most egregious holds. This that is we've this seen. is the other way you get around that. If you allow the quarterback the chance to get rid of the football a little faster, because he doesn't have to worry about someone separating, getting open, throwing in traffic, that sort of thing. So even even if it is for like a quarterback safety standpoint, like quarterbacks have to do a better job of understanding there's an internal clock. There is a timing to and rhythm to every play. If it's not there, you you got to throw the football away at some point. <laughs> Hello. That's that's to me that's why I am glad you're saying what you're saying. Anymore. I I'm glad you're saying that cuz what 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 this rule basically continues to say to me is that you're taking away the accountability of the position. If it's the most important position on the field, then there should be more accountability. And, and, and Tom Brady's been he's talked about that before to where some of the rules now are bailing the quarterback out. That's what I mean, like, bro, you're, you're if pro- you only have to get the ball play. back to the line of scrimmage and there doesn't have to be an intent to get it to a receiver, that's it's less accountability. It's less accountability. Like I just, it just is what it is, and and you are bailing that guy out. And to answer your question, which one is it? It's it's both. If you're if you're giving a quarterback the opportunity to just throw the ball away, which at the end of the day, like like you said, just throw the ball away. And what's wrong with a low scoring game? You know, a little throwback. It like it's not like less people watch the NFL this year because scoring was down. They set yeah. record numbers depending on who you believe. Supposedly, I just yeah. know the moment you see a pass rusher coming your way, now throwing a- away takes on a whole different meaning. Yeah. It's like here he comes, boom, throw it away, ha ah, ah. ha, throw it away, not no 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 no, throw it away, ah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Feel that heat, feel that pressure. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, throw it away. <laughs> too close, too close. <laughs> uh, throw it away. And you ain't got to, and, and and believe you me, it's harder to throw a ball away 
knowing that you have to get it near a receiver because you don't know oh, if somebody's going to pick it off. First hand experience, LeVar knows that. <laughs> <laughs> you know somebody somebody could pick it off. Or the amount of strength that you have to exert to throw the ball further, right? To yeah, throw it yeah, to, to it. where a, a receiver is, unless it's like a running back that's right out there in the flare. If you're if you gotta throw the ball, it's going to take more energy. That's that gives guys like me the opportunity to get kill shots. Case in point. That's why you've done it. Yeah. You're not giving guys the opportunity to uh, get there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> He's gonna hit me. He's gonna hit me. Throw it away. Back to the line of scrimmage. And if you ain't got to find the receiver, if you ain't got a receiver, you're just basically grounding the ball. Mm. It's a grounding. Yeah. That's all it is. That's crazy to me, man. That's <sighs> that's unbelievable to me that, that these coaches would actually sit around in their rooms all comfortable and cozy and actually vote on this and agree hey, to man. it. Fantasy football, baby. Unbelievable. Yeah. unbelievable. I mean, just, just, just put flags on the QB. Done. Put man, flags on, on him. Take his pads off. Far. Take his pads come off. Come You're going too far. Let him, let him wear shells. You're going too far. Can he wear shoulder pla- pads no. at least? No. Put shells on. That's it? You don't need, no. Because you can't touch him anymore anyway. You can't touch him. So Rydell and a, bear, and a pair of cleats. That's all he gets. I think there should start to be rules that govern quarterbacks. Uh, like, okay, you can run. Like, if you are <laughs> deemed a running quarterback, you are allowed to be hit. If you are a throwing pocket passing quarterback, you have flags. I think there should be distinctions. <laughs> so if it's a pocket passer and you touch You're him, not allowed to run. An alarm goes off in the stadium. If you, if ah. you, if, I mean, that would be dope. Okay. If, 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 if a pocket passing quarterback decides to scramble, play's blown dead. Go oh, to the next on. down. <laughs> Go to on. the next down. Come on. Tom Brady just Go to ran the a next racist. Tom Brady just it ran is. Yeah, you know what that is. It is. You know, that you know, is racist. I am racist. The white guy takes okay. off. Right, the place well, over. Hold on now. Taysom Hill. You got Taysom Hill. Listen, all I'm going to tell you is you had Tim <laughs> Tebow. You, you, you had Tim Tebow. You, you, you had Tim Tebow. I know. But you had Tim Tebow. Oh, now you're going to hit the button. Yeah. Y'all, y'all out of control back there. Joe just got it like two seconds into what the show. What do you mean? I said, y'all just now, y'all want to hey, hit it on the there's a big, it. Y'all want to hit it on me? Hey, there's a clear difference between saying the name of, of a band called White Zombie and LeVar saying white quarterbacks should have I a buzzer attached pass, to them. No, I said pocket they, passing quarterbacks should have flags on and, them. And what are most of those pocket passing white. quarterbacks? Oh, <laughs> there, there goes William outside the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Plays over. Well, there, well, there goes Jackson. <laughs> that sounds a little different. <laughs> Look at him run. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> Damn. Y'all got Josh Allen. Come on, man. <laughs> we do have Josh Allen. That's All right. right. But that's the problem. Is what you're going to blow when he leaves the pocket? I mean, no, because he's a runner. If, it, if you get a guy like, say, I don't know, y'all got Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence will run. Like, y'all got guys that will run. But if they nice long hair, though. He uh-huh. does. He gets the long hair rule, I guess, you know, for quarterbacks. If your hair is a certain length and you look a certain type of way, you know, you get to ground the ball. Or or better yet, like the, the defender has to stop when you run, allow you to run for five to ten yards, and then um, let you go out what of What about bounds. Daniel Jones? Mm-hmm. He's allowed to escape, right? I think a guy like Daniel Jones, they're Because if he okay. doesn't, they got problems. I think they're okay with him getting hit, <laughs> with him getting intentional groundings. I think everybody <laughs> – <laughs> There's certain quarterbacks just like, ah, yeah, if it happens with him, it's okay. But the other ones, you got to protect the interest. You okay. know? Patrick Mahomes, he's going to get treated like a pocket passing quarterback even when he decides to come out of it and run. First of all, this right. is already established. He's I on guess it, yours. It is, it he's is kind of a He's a dude's blue devil. Hold on. It is kind of dividing up the teams. I mean, <laughs> it is. Yeah, it is. It definitely is. Like if, if you're saying Mahomes when he leaves the pocket, gets the whistle blown. He's on our side. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But he's yeah. saying he shouldn't because he can actually run. He's ours. We'll let you he have. He's ours then. Already Who you gonna let us have? Who you gonna let us have? You can have Babe Ruth. Oh wow, we've got right. Patrick. You, you did establish that. We'll yeah. take Babe. All right, we'll take Babe. There you go.